What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellfire Gaming here, back here again with some more Hail Survives MC. And today I'm going to start out by making this a netherite hoe. I have two pieces of ancient debris and I have 32 TNT. I should be able to get a bunch of ancient debris with that. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to need some redstone torches. Uh, so I'm going to have to grab some. Yeah, I could probably just grab some from in here. Because I probably have a bunch. So I'm probably going to do this off cam. Because you guys have seen this enough and don't need to see much more of it. I'll take nine with me and I'll try to get them back as much as possible. So we'll just see how it goes and I'll show you the outcome. Well, there's two ancient debris from an explosion I just did. I figure I'd jump in and just let you guys know when I find some because I haven't found any yet till just now and I've already used half my TNT, surprisingly. But it was hard to find a spot, to be honest. <clears throat> it's actually mine. But I have the ancient debris I need, but I am going to finish off this TNT because, like, extra ancient debris is always better. And I had three, but I wanted to save one. So. Yeah. Subscribe. Alright, I am back. After it, I got ancient. <clears throat> eight ancient debris. Sorry, I'm just. I don't know what just happened there. I think I had a stroke or something, I swear. But, uh, yeah, I got a, I got six ancient debris, technically. It, it felt like quite a bit of work for that much, but, eh, whatever. Um, I only need four right now. I think everything else is netherite, so I should be fine. And I need four, oh, I just realized I don't have the gold for this. Technically. I mean, I technically do. Mm, I'm about to go mining soon. You know what? Just put these back and then just take a block out. I'm going to have to... What I'll do is I'll put a placeholder of five right here for that block. And then I can make... Well, after I cook these four. I could have put in the blast furnace. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. You are empty. You are empty. It's been a while since I've looked at these. So I just want to make sure everything's emptied. But it should be. This I need to clean out eventually, but it's mainly to finish building the... Uh, hotel so and I do still have this for smelting I'm gonna have to mine a lot which is, is the plan the plan is to mine a lot uh soon but today's episode I had a specific thing in mind we're going back to the deep dark area because I'm gonna have a silk touch hoe to pick up a few things now it's because I'm ready I'm ready come on all right four of you and that means craft and netherite ingot. And I do have a smithing table over here. Boom. Netherite hoe. This is the silk touch boy. So we're ready to go back to that area of the deep dark. And we're back. But now I have silk touch, so it's okay. Now I can pick all these up. Which is amazing. Heck yeah. This is what I wanted. I wanted to come back and pick a bunch of this up. Because it's going to be useful. Yeah. Alright. That's the whole reason we came back here. Was to pick up some of the stuff and like look at how they work. And what they do. I don't see any shriekers yet. I have a few attempts with shriekers. It's so dark though, it's hard to see. But it's okay, I'm getting a lot of this stuff. Ah, there it is. I'm wondering where you were. Hello. Dead. Alright, are we looking good? We looking good? Looks like we're doing pretty decent. Um, alright, back to the hell. Alright, so pick up some of the skulk. Like, in all honesty, it looks really cool, and I think it'd be good for, like, a maybe a, galax a galaxial kind of thing. A galaxy style build of some sort. And that's always been my thoughts, but it's also useful in the fact that it gives EXP. You know what? Let's take some of this, too. While I'm at it, just, like, take everything. I brought some wool just in case. But I'm probably not going to uh, use it. 
But I figured I'd bring all my blue wool because I figured it wouldn't hurt. Oh, yeah, I can't see if I do that. Just grab all of this. Grab everything. Grab everything. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Sit down here, too. It's like all of this is going to be of use for builds in the future, so it's good to grab for now. That's why I went to get netherite, so I could come back here. I figured, you know, I'm most of the way there, I might as well, right? Ooh, okay. And now I have a bunch of other stuff. And this stuff can grow. That's the best part, is that this stuff can grow. Uh, there's uh, farms already people have set up. Now, obviously, I'm nowhere near them, their level. So, I ain't too worried about trying to set that up. But, doesn't mean... You look special. Oh, you're... Uh, oh, you are hidden, huh? That was a uh, catalyst, which I, I'd like more of. But, I can actually set it up so stuff goes... <gasps> Actually, I know where a spawner is, and I'm not using it anymore as a mob spawner since all my other stuff. So I might actually... I said I'm not advanced enough for that, but that doesn't mean I can't attempt it, right? I don't have to have an auto layout. I can just have it occasionally make stuff. I don't know. Ah, another thing. And that stuff's automated uh, redstone, so... Or wireless redstone, so... So it's pretty cool. Just cool stuff you can do with it. Actually, though, I would like some shriekers, so I might have to go back to the city to get some shriekers. I don't remember the way back, though. I remember the coordinates, but I don't remember the path I used to get to those coordinates. As I run, I might. We'll just run along and see if I can. I remember, I remember this path. During editing, I remember this path. Or the, there's the set. Uh, that is it. The same skeleton. Uh, okay. I don't remember this though. All right. Well, let's just follow it anyway. Maybe I do remember, and I just don't remember that I remember it. Maybe I am going the right way, and I just don't remember that I'm going the right way. Maybe. No, I'm definitely not going the right. Maybe, maybe. Let, you know what? Let's just keep going and see what happens. What's down this way? Even still, there's some sensors down here. That thunder startled me. I'm not going to lie. That thunder just scared me. Oh, that's lava. Oh, God. That scared me. There's a random lava block there. I know there's a city, because I've been to the city. I just don't remember how to get to it. This is obviously not the correct path. Well, it took a little bit, but I found it. It didn't take as long as I had expected it to, of course. There's a shrieker right there. And I want it. So what I am going to do is do this. <gasps> there was apparently another one I didn't see. And there's a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. There's, oh my god, there's so many. Um, I'll be honest. I'm gonna YOLO this. And I failed. Oh, I failed miserably. I failed miserably. That was a massive, massive fail. Alright, so what I have to do is hyperspeed mine both of these. These are the only two in the area, right? It looks like it. All right, so bop and bop. 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 
Up. 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 And wasn't there another one? Bop. Yeah, right there. All right. So now we go and pick these up kind of sneakily. It fell. I got a swift sneak, so it's okay. This might be a bottom entrance in here. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't tried it out. Um, let's see. Up. Then, bip, bip. Up. 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 Okay. Something like that gets me back up here. This. Oh, hi. So I've grabbed a bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, let's see. What I got? Uh, I don't need any of this. But I am literally one off being screwed. So I have a bunch of skulk and six catalysts and 29 sensors and three shriekers. I think I should be good, actually. So I can head home and we can discuss how these things actually work. Sounds like a good idea to me. So I'm going to head out of here. Okay, so I think it's time to show off a few things. One, this is something I'm going to show off. I'm going to use this witch as an example. The skulk Catalyst. And I need some stone. Let's just grab some stone from here for the time being. Just these four stone. These four stone and this skulk Catalyst. So what I'm going to do is... One, two, three, four. Skulk Catalyst, let's kill this witch. Is this close enough? Let's try to kill it this way so it dies near it. It spreads. I even got an achievement for it. Kill it near Skulk Catalyst. Did that even work? It doesn't even look like it worked. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Whoa, I should use that. It didn't seem to work as far as I know, but I don't know why. Does it work based on fire spread? Because I think I turned fire spread off. Game rule. Do fire tick. Is currently set to true. Okay. Not fire tick. Spread. Oh god. Do fire tick. Is that actually it then? Pretty sure. Do warden spotting. Oh cool. Okay. I don't know what ins Oh, insomnia must be the spawning of them. Hmm, interesting. It may have been because it was blocked by some blocks. That could have been it. But I did get the achievement for it. So let's start off then, I guess, since I can't really do that yet. Let's show off some skulk sensors and how they work. As you can see, they send notifications to each other. Now, let's put a skulk shrieker in the center. From what I've been told, this should not give the ability for him to spawn because I've placed this myself. It mainly is just a scare. Yeah, that appears to be the case. But, these give off redstone signal, which is really cool. So you can do stuff like, let's say, redstone and something that can do something. A, a piston, sure, let's just use a piston and a redstone dust. I'm not exactly sure 100% how this works, but let's connect that with this. Boom. Just do nothing, and then jump. Boom. So you can actually have it control how it works, and that's really cool. There's so many things you can do, apparently, with the redstone, because you can have it do certain things. It can even detect what action's happening based on redstone level, apparently. I'm not exactly sure how that entirely works, but it does. I've seen it in action. Those four back. Back here. Yeah, and it works. And then, of course, we know what Skulk... Whoops. We know what Skulk does. The main reason behind Skulk. Um, I need my backup gear chest because I need Fortune. Well, not Fortune, but I need my, my other hoe to show this off. It gives EXP. Very helpful, right? So, there's my silk touch. I'm going to just put my silk touch and that together. Like this. 
one silk touch and one bending like this. Uh, I'll take them both out for now, but that's how I'm going to put them in there. And that's so I can show off how this works. So, catalysts are used to spread skulk. When you kill an enemy, it spreads skulk. Now, there's some things that can be done with that. Let me go to my spawner. You can actually have mobs drop onto it and automatically die. And I haven't been over here in a little while. Because I don't use this anymore. So I can actually set it up as a better spawner area if I want to. And it's a tempting, tempting notion because I don't actually... I didn't mean to reset that. But I don't need this anymore. Really. So, if I don't need this anymore, then what's the point? Right? What I could do is have them fall. Uh, they don't, they, do they fall to their death? No, they fall to a one-shot, I think. So what I could do is tear this out, which I might do in time, and then place a Skulk Catalyst with a Stone Generator. And every time it fills up, they die, and they create Catalyst. Like, okay, here, here's what we'll do. I'll show you on a creative test world. But before I do that, let's head back home. Because I've got what I wanted to get today. This is going to be a bit shorter of a video. Um... But I've got what I've gone to get today, so that's a plus, right? So what I'm going to do is head back to camp, to my base over here. And we're going to set this up. Those auto-die, so technically, if I really wanted to, I could set it up from there, but I'm not going to do that. It's a way of storing EXP, and I'll show it off in a bit. What I'll do is I'll make a new chest. Wait, I just made a new chest for Skull, and th so these can all go in here, actually. Boom. Um, let's grab out all the skulk itself so I can rearrange this a bit better. And then put the skulk in here like that. Okay. So, I have these on me. I don't need the redstone chest on me anymore. Uh, I'm going to repair my stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to go to a creative test world and meet you guys there. Alright, so we're in the creative test world. I did not super flat it. Oh, man actually making it look nice. I added all the data packs, just so we're clear. I did add all the data packs from that, as far as I know. What I need is Skulk. Skulk Catalyst. Uh, water Bucket. Lava Bucket. Lava Bucket. Um, piston. Uh, observer. I 100% sure how to do this, but it's fine. And, uh, can I spawn? Can I make a, sp can I do a spawner? Like, is there a way to, s yeah, I might, I might be able to, we'll see. So first, let's make a little path, um, here or something. Okay, on the sand. Okay. So first, what I'm going to do is let's use dirt, because I can. into running water something like that maybe let's, let's find out let's find out so first do that and then have running water with lava on top of it okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on there bud now have an observer So, piston here, server here, redstone, a solid block, like that, that's, okay, that's not working right, it has to be, I forgot how to do this exactly. It needs to be... Oh, is it... Is it working too fast? That might be the issue, then. Um, red... Repeater. Let's put, like, a... F no, this way. Actually, this way. A three ticker on that. I I I'm just testing this. I don't know. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll just see what happens, right? I'm not 100% sure how to set this up. There we go. That's stone. It's just not going slow enough. Oh, you know what? The observer needs to be running slower. That's the issue. Uh, it's because of the pistons moving, too. And that's making it trigger so much. But this will push out. This is good enough. I don't really have to set it up properly. Like, I can just set it up like that. Have the skulk sensor on top of it like this. And then have, say, a andesite brick funnel above it. Because what I'm going to do is... Uh, build this up several blocks and make sure that all the mobs fall directly into this. I don't want them to... I don't want to make sure they die instantly, so I need to build it pretty high up. Alright, let me see. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Let's turn on coordinates, HUD. Uh, trigger... CH toggle. There. Okay, so where are we at? This is 80, and this was 66. That's 14 blocks. Sixty. There. 30 blocks. Good enough. Now let's build all of this all the way up here. Because the point is we're going to be trying to spread the skulk onto this. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to go based on other people's designs. Because I'm not that redstone intuitive, but, or mentally redstone capable, but, uh, for this, this is just my own thing for now. And yes, there is a bug where the blocks turn invisible sometimes, so, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I just... I could really just spawn them, so to speak. But what I am going to do is this. It is three blocks wide, which is an issue. So what I might have to do is just, I might just have to chop this off and make it one block wide for this test. So I'll do that just for the test, though. So bucket of water should not flow all the way down. Good, good, good. You know what? I'll just spawn something right here. Summon skeleton. Boom. Oh no, he's falling. There. Go to the bottom. And he dies. And it didn't do anything, unfortunately. Oh, it spread onto this. I didn't think it would spread onto this. That's odd. It spread all the way up this, actually. But what I can do is make these a little bit further away from it. And what I will do is place this in. Yeah, I'll leave that on top. I'll leave that on top. We'll try again. Try again. Uh, let's get this exact coordinate. Tw 1496, 17. 1496, 17. Summon skeleton 1496, 17. There we go. And now I can stay down here and watch it fall. And it should still fall straight. It's not spreading. Why is it not spreading to the stone? Is it a glitch? There might actually be a glitch in this version. I might need to update. Because it looks like it's not spreading to stone properly. What if I just grab this and put it around it? Then it becomes placed stone is the problem. And I'm wondering if that's the issue, is it's only... Huh. 
Because it did spawn to andesite. Try it again. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You saw that it spread like that. Oh, maybe it only spreads upwards. Maybe I gotta put it below it. Maybe that's the issue. I still have it? Yeah, I still have it. Okay. Let's put it right here then. And do a few more skeletal summons. Yeah, okay, that was the issue. As you can see, it's spreading fine now. If command block. Command block and a button. Just a button. Alright. And this will just be summon wait, well hold on, let me just copy that. Paste done. Then I can just summon skeletons and we can see it drop and spread. And as you see it spread, then you can just pick up all the EXP with a hoe. Ho. ho. So I get my hoe out. And then I go to survival. I go over here and... Like that. And now what I do is go ahead and put this back here. Now I don't know the best way of... It kind of sucks because I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the observer. Because I... <sighs> oh yeah, let's go back into creative. Destroy that. And now go into survival. Wait for that to push some out. Like, it, so the water needs to travel down and then the, uh, the lava needs to be able to go down in time. And that's the issue we're, we're finding ourselves in. Now summon a skeleton, summon a skeleton, summon a skeleton. Now these guys will just funnel and fall and create more. And it works basically flawlessly. Well, not really, but you get the point. I think it has to be stone. I don't think cobblestone works. I think that's the issue with this. But I digress. Anyway, that has been a look at how Skulk stuff works. It's actually pretty decent. I'm about to head back to the end to repair my tools. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do off, off cam. So thanks, everybody. For watching if you enjoyed again remember to hit the thumbs up button to show your support i'm very appreciative for all the support received so thanks and i hope you enjoyed this look at skulk stuff whoa i'm not good at this i don't know how people do this anyway thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next episode peace everybody have a good one hail signing out